Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 3 um, Haunted Asylum Challenge. I'm Landros. Let me go ahead and pause this for just a minute. Now, at the end of the last episode, I made a huge mistake. I went ahead and I took this chair that I put in here and I sold it and I replaced it with a cheaper chair and it actually reset our funds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to actually reset our funds again and i got to turn my testing cheats back on because I think I've turned them all off. Testing cheats enabled, true, let's get these things going and let's just set our family funds back to 100 because I don't want to cheat. Family funds, Landros, 100. Okay, because we didn't sell anything and I don't think we, I don't think we cooked anything. I was looking at the last one and I didn't see anything. If we did, um, please let me know. I'm sure you guys will tell me for sure. All right, so that puts us back where we should be. And of course, yeah, I think he just did. No. What does he make? Is, are you going to start a fire on our first night? <laughs> the problem is these guys are absent-minded, and so they'll forget what they're doing. And so you never know. I'm just going to keep an eye on this guy. Now, I can't click on him. I can't do anything for him, but I can just keep an eye on my guy. And, oh, another thing that um, you can put as many phones as you want in this entire place. I didn't put any phones when I was actually setting the lot up. And the reason I didn't do it, I kept going back and forth on it, and I thought, well, we can't really buy anything with our money. Um, so that would be something that we could actually buy. Oh, oh my gosh, we're probably getting our first fire. I better get my guy up. No, he's, oh, okay, well, he just burned him, so that's okay. <laughs> I figured we're going to have a fire. Now, the problem is it probably cost us money to, to um, buy those waffles or to create them, so that was my fault. Um, friendly mascot, go away. I don't really want to see you. I'd like to go back to my guy real quick. All right, he's going to be sleeping for a while. When he gets up, I'm going to go ahead and have him uh, take care of this. He's going to sell this thing. Um, we could hold on to it for um, appreciation, but I don't think we're going to have a whole lot that's going to happen. <laughs> I have no idea who these guys are. Okay, oh, yeah, he normally wears a hat, so I have no idea. He's going downstairs. I can't click on him. I can just stay clicked on mine, but I want to keep an eye on what he's going to do because I'm scared to death that they are going to just start a fire. Um and since we don't have any fire alarms, you never know. It could be, oh, okay, good. He's just going to eat leftovers. Now, that's one way we could prevent that is we could continue to go down there and just cook and be ready. But the problem is if you do that, then they're never going to learn to cook on their own, and you're always going to have the risk of fire. So to me, it's kind of like, I don't know if we should. I think we should just probably do what we got to do. Just let them, let them figure it out. All right, we want to improve sculpting. All right, let me go up here with him real quick. It is so against everything that I'm used to as far as clicking on. I want to click on everybody, and I can't do it. But that's all right. We'll get used to it. Now, I'm wondering, now that we've actually slept in this bed, you know how normally when you click on it, it'll say sleep in so-and-so's bed? I don't know if it automatically gives them this bed. I don't think it does, because I think they'll go to any bed that's available. If they get tired enough, they'll go, since we all live in the same house. But, I mean, in my Generations LP... I keep telling them which bed to go to, and they just go find some bed. They don't care. They go wherever they want to go. That is so weird. <laughs> that is so weird right there. I've never noticed that. It's just strange. Of course, I've never looked at it from this angle, but yeah. I don't know if that's supposed to be that way or not, but that is bizarre. All right. Um, let's see. Who's upstairs? Okay, we still have... Um, three people upstairs sleeping, which is good. I don't know about anybody else. Oh, wait, she's up here. <laughs> she's walking around in her formal dress. <laughs> oh, man. Now, the one thing about it, oh, I was talking about the last one about the points, and I was saying i got to keep track of who has what points. That's not true because yeah. the thing is the points only count if they're still living at the end of the LP. So if we lose any of these guys, if they die, then whatever they've learned, all the points we would have gotten for them, it's gone. We don't get anything at all. So you don't look at any points, you don't do any of that until you get to the very end and he's about to leave the asylum. And then that's when you can total up and see what you got. But, oh good lord. <laughs> All right, I'm going to speed up my guy because it's going to take him a while. Now, I've debated on going back and forth, you know, should I get a job so he should go somewhere? But then I thought it's going to be a lot for him to actually learn these three skills and get them up to level 10. And, you know, with all the things he's going to have to do as far as wearing out and being exhausted. All right, you know what? While he's up, let's go ahead. Is the bathroom free? Yeah, let's go ahead into the bathroom. Oh, we already got to clean it. Man, you better do it now. Go ahead and take your shower. 
I was going to click on somebody else. <laughs> I just have to be very careful. I'm not used to it. I'll get used to it eventually, and then I'll probably start playing that way all the time. But that's okay. Now, some people have looked at some of the comments from other people on different websites who have been doing this challenge. They're not doing them as LPs, but they're just doing it on their own. And they said that they went for a long time without any fires, and then some people said that they had a fire just about every day. And I'm like, well, maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe it'll be really nice and peaceful. We won't have to worry too much about it. But you know, somehow I get the idea that that's not going to be true. Um, I am curious to see what the bills are going to be. Let's see what's he going to do here. He wants to learn the inventing skill. Well, we do need to do that. Not quite sure if we have the money to do it because there is no scrap, and I don't have money to buy scrap. So, oh, wait. Okay, I thought she was coming in here. I was like, please don't come in here. Let the guy at least get a shower this morning. And that's another thing um, with all these people and the fact that they just are in different schedules. You never know when you're going to get into the bathroom or not. And having just one, I, I don't know. It's going to be fun. Okay. Now, when we get down, I probably should have given them certain skills that everybody could do and that it wouldn't be exclusive, but I didn't think that far ahead. And so that was kind of my fault. But it didn't give you any restrictions. You, you know, you can choose whatever skill items you want, so as long as it's what you wanted to do. Okay, I need to get you downstairs and get something to eat. So let's go ahead and come on downstairs. I'm going to have you just have waffles. And yeah, I didn't make him serve it. I'm going to make him have them because this is for him. If I, if I force them to cook, they'll at least get a skill. Yeah, they have a higher risk of starting a fire, but the fact of the matter is this will actually get them a skill and make them cook on their own, and then hopefully... Um, we'll get points for them if they're still alive, if we don't kill them all. So, yeah, I mean, I could have actually just made something and let them all come and eat and kept them, kept them happy and whatnot. But since this guy, I figure the fact that he's going to have to level out those three different skills to be level 10, he's going to have to repair everything that breaks, he's going to have to pay all the bills, he's going to have to clean everything that gets dirty because they're not going to clean any of it. Um, yeah, he's going to be busy. So trying to pull a part, a full-time job. Plus, like I said, it doesn't make sense to be in an asylum and then being let out to go do a regular job. That just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. But I mean, I understand why. But I figured this will be something different. Uh, what is he making? I forgot what he was making. Oh, I guess it didn't matter because when I look at this, let me just double check. Oh yeah, those waffles didn't cost us any money because we already start with groceries. So good. I didn't mess up on my money. That's good. Is she cleaning? Oh, you're cleaning. Who are you? <laughs> Maxine. Thank you, Maxine, for cleaning. That is nice. Okay, now watch it. It'll be my guy that starts the fire. More than likely. <laughs> it's okay. He can do it. Oh, yikes. <laughs> well, you were being nice. You were being a good person. Okay, is she going to get leftovers or is she going to try to cook? Nah, she's going to try to cook. <laughs> okay, fine. Oh, man, that's disgusting. So, see, we're going to be doing a lot of work. We're going to be cooking and doing all that garbage, so that's fine. But, see, we also get points for cooking, so if I force him to keep cooking and not just eating leftovers, he'll gain some more skill points as well. So it kind of works to your favor to do it this way. Um, at least I think it does. This guy's tired and he's going to bed. Uh-oh, somebody's coming after you. And the sad thing is we have to be right in here to work, and this is where the fires will happen. Now, I'm curious to know how much the bills are going to be, but I want him to go ahead and finish this thing up when he gets done. I think everything else is fine. Um, wow, so they are going to clean, so that's good. They'll at least have something. Maybe we don't have to do everything. Oh, she's mad. <laughs> she's going to be upset because she can't cook. Being an absent-minded, I don't know if she's going to remember to do it. All right. She probably will. All right, let me go over here and look at the bills real quick because I'm just curious to know how much this is going to cost us. A thousand dollars. A thousand dollars that we don't have. Um, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I really did expect it to be worse. Um, I don't know. I'm kind of curious if we're going to be able to make it or not because we got. We don't have to pay him today. We have until Wednesday night, and if we don't pay him by Wednesday night, then the repo man's coming. So. This guy's going to have to work hard. He's going to have to work fast. I don't know what else he can do besides um, sculpting. We can't invent. There's no way we can invent. He can paint. I can do a whole bunch of paintings, little small ones, but I don't think they're worth a whole lot. But we can do as many as we can and see what we can get. But this may get us 
probably about fifty dollars at most I would think this scares me when it's cooking this long oh yeah this scares me big time uh, I think they're oh no they're okay no fires <laughs> oh and what's sad is he's, we're doing it right here by where we're working so you never know oh man is she gonna do it again because I don't think she'll eat that maybe she will maybe she's that crazy oh no she's gonna cook again yikes okay well I think you have the highest risk of fires obviously in the beginning because nobody has the cooking skill so this is something that's probably gonna happen unless she just got oh she's got cereal so that's fine well, why don't you go clean that up I mean you're actually all nice and happy and ready to clean things all right I'm gonna have him actually throw this away because nobody's gonna use it <laughs> oh somebody else gonna come down and are you gonna eat that food Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> that's all right. If you want to eat it, you need it. All right. So how much did we make? $39. We worked that hard for that. Oh, you better sell it because we're going to definitely need it. We're going to need the money, we, whatever money we can get. That's probably why I should have gotten a regular job because he would have made more money. But that's okay. I kind of set myself up for it. I could have actually registered him, at, registered him as a sculptor, and I probably still could. But then I'd have to travel to the consignment store, and I think that's against the rules. It says you can go to your job, but that's not technically your job. Unless I just said he can go do it one time a week or, you know, so many times a week, and that's it. But, I don't know, to me, like I said, it's, a, it's an asylum. They shouldn't be able to go out. They should be stuck here. So, he could still write. You know, we could do that, and he could actually make a little bit of money that way. All right, when you go ahead, I want you to sculpt something else out of clay. Um, it's not going to be much, but... What is your level up to? Sculpting's only up to level one, so we're almost at level two. So that'll be fine. You can get that going, and nobody else is bringing any money in. There's no way they can, so they're just going to sit there and read books all day. Sad thing is, we've got so many different bookcases in this house that all they're going to read are like they're just regular fiction books, so they're not going to read anything good. But they're not going to learn anything. But you can't force them. You can't do anything about it, so... Now, I could go out and um, I wonder if there's any way to garden. I don't have any. I don't know any. Wait, I could probably plant something from the refrigerator because I can get out the front gate and I could I could garden there. Let me open up and see what we got. Um, but, you know, with the weather changing, that wouldn't last for very long. Um, and we can't buy those planters, I don't think, because I think that would, unless, no, that's that's under decor, so that would be fine. We could actually buy them, but we don't have the money for them. Um, and I don't have enough time to actually buy that, or to plant that many and have them grow. So we're just going to be kind of struggling for a while. What is he holding in his hand? Nothing. <laughs> he thinks he's holding something. He's just walking around. All right, so you're going to cook too. And I don't even know who this guy is. That's Nelson. Nelson, you look different. It's not who I made. <laughs> of course, I didn't make you. No, you look the same. I, was say, I didn't make you, but he's about to level up and get cooking, so good for you, Nelson. You still can start a fire. And the fact that this thing is such a cheap stove, it catches fire easily, even if you do have skills. So why do you have to cook? Why couldn't you? Oh, I think he's making salad, so that's good. Salad to work. <laughs> oh man, I think we're going to see this a lot. People wanting to cook. Are you going to act? Did you make enough for everybody or did you just make for you? Oh, you made for everybody, so she won't have to worry. She'll get up and get her own. She'll get a, cop, a plate of it, maybe. If she's smart enough. Okay, we can't do any traveling, so we can't leave the asylum. Um, now, I could actually lock it, but like I said, they'll need it if they need to go to the garbage can, so I'm not going to lock the gate. Um, I should probably lock it for everybody but my household so that we don't get anybody else coming in. Like repairmen. But see, that would actually keep the firemen out. And then I know you don't want them here because you want to put the fires out yourself. But I don't know. I'll probably just go ahead and leave it. I'm wondering if it's against the rules to clean up like that. I, no, I don't think it is. But I kind of thought about wouldn't it be funny if, if we don't clean it up and just let it go to waste, then they have to keep cooking. But no, I think I'll just go ahead and I'll make him put it up. But of course, I'm not going to do the... Um, automatic hand. I'm just gonna. He'll have to do it on his own, unless this guy is nice enough to do it for us, which I don't think he will be. 
you got to be careful with this thing when he gets to the good stuff like stone he can actually make some big mistakes with it but this one I'm using in my sunlight uh, in my midnight sun challenge and let me tell you that's the only way that we're actually able to do anything because he makes decent or she makes decent money with this thing so yeah otherwise we'd be in trouble okay somebody's upstairs sleeping I'm gonna, I'm gonna go upstairs and see who's doing what oh yeah somebody's got that bed and <laughs> these beds I think we'll have people sleeping all the time now I don't think anybody ever goes outside into this other area but that's okay oh I was thinking about the basement and what I'm thinking about doing for the basement once we have money I'm gonna put the washer and dryer down here so I think that would be the perfect place for it and other than that there's really nothing else I could do I mean I was gonna think of some other things I could put down there that would be decorative and you know that's something that yeah they can use but it's not gonna cost us any money but it's also not gonna give anybody any skills or anything so that's definitely something we can do and of course we'll have nothing but piles of clothes all over the house which that's fine too we get that in university all the time at least you don't have to deal with all the stereos going off that's that's pretty nice and if you haven't tried to get down to that basement let me tell you it takes them a while to get there um, it really is just a long process but yeah you need to do this as quickly as you can so you can see if you can um, you want to get as many points as you can and then when you actually play it again for the second time you're gonna try of course to beat your score so which I think is kinda of fun it just gives you something to do and you know if I really enjoy doing this LP I could always do a second one and just kinda of compare to see if I can do any better but I don't know I got other LPs I'm trying to think of and other ones that I actually have planned to go but this one I was really excited about when I saw it I thought this will be fine alright lady what are you gonna do oh she's gonna clean up well see they're actually pretty decent here I was thinking the evil trait I guess I should have I don't know, I'm trying to think of other traits that might have been different for them. But there really weren't that many to choose from that would actually, that I thought would be really good. Oh. Are you going to put it away? Well, see, they take care of everything for me. I don't have to even bother with that. All right, so let me go take a look at your needs. You actually do need the bathroom pretty quick. But you're just about done, and I want you to, how much is that worth? 25 All right, sell that thing. And then let me go ahead and get you upstairs. $26. Yeah. Man, we're not doing good. Uh, you need the bathroom. Um, tell you what, before you actually go, what were you going to do? Now, go ahead and sculpt something else. we got to actually... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stop, 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 stop. Don't do it, don't... Nope. Okay, good. Um, you can sculpt now out of wood, and I think that'll give you more money. So, yeah, it took us... It cost us a little bit, but <laughs> we got to get to 1000 before Wednesday, which, that's eh, not good. Okay, so we got ourselves up to level three, and that's fine. What did he do? <laughs> he scared me. Okay. Yeah, I'm trying to think of anything else I could do faster, and this is really the only one I could think of, because our other skills, you know, the chemistry station's not going to do anything. We're not going to make money. Yeah, we could sell those potions, but, you know, it costs us money to make the potions. So, you know, you don't really don't make a whole lot with that. We could write, and we'd make some money, but it takes a while to do that. But I figured I'd let him sculpt a few things, and then I'll let him start learning to write as well. Um, even though the painting, that works, it doesn't sell, it doesn't do it as much. I do need to go up the stairs and sell that painting, though, so that'll give us a little bit of money. Uh, whatever we can get, it's going to count. But here we are. Once they actually run out of all the groceries in here, then we're going to end up having some trouble because they're going to start just making whatever they want and spending all of our money on groceries, which I don't want them to do. But that's okay. They they do what they need to do. <laughs> I love the way they just walk around wearing whatever they want. Okay. He's doing good. I can't really click on anybody. But I'm going to go ahead and see. Let's see what he wants. Level four? Sure. Make a wood sculpture. That's what he's doing. Yeah, I can't do... S the inventing skill is going to be the very last thing we can do because that costs us money. That thing is ridiculous. Um... And you don't really make a whole lot of money for what you're doing. So this thing, you actually do well. So that's why I figured we'll start with this one. And I'm just going to keep him pushed on this one for a while. So if I would have actually thought about it and realized how much money I was going to be spending, I probably would have taken out a lot of this stuff. I would have taken out a lot of these bookcases um, when I was building or actually getting this lot set up. Because unfortunately... We're making, an, uh, we're going to spend a lot of money on stuff that we're not really able to use, or you know, how many bookcases do you really need? But you know, this used to be a library, so that's why it had all these bookcases. Is there anything in here? 
Oh, no. I thought he had something in there. Okay, well, that's fine. Now, you could put this in any town, and that's why I, I chose this town, even though I've done LP in Moonlight Falls. It didn't matter, because you notice we're not leaving. We're not going anywhere. We're stuck in this house. So this is as far as we're going to get into the actual town. We can take a look up here and see that you know, there's other things going on, but we can't leave. We're done. Every, we're actually over here. And if you don't have this lot, um, it's been on the Sims 3 website this past couple of weeks. Um, it's been on sale. Like It just keeps going on a rotation. But as you can see over here, we've got an urn, some remains over there. And then what in the world is that? Oh, that's a light. <laughs> I was going to say, what have we got over here? All right, so yeah, there's another urn. Um, he needs the bathroom. Let's see, I believe that is a, that's just a, oh, we can turn that on. Why don't we just go ahead and turn on this room? Okay, you can kind of see what it is. It just looks like a grave. And I guess you could, if somebody dies, no, you could plant in there, couldn't you? Oh, you could, couldn't you? I think. Yeah, we could plant something in there, but we don't have anything to plant. So, I mean, we do. We've got tomatoes in there we can work with. We have not talked to anybody, and I know we need to, but that's all right. I really want him to get something done, but here we've gone. We're almost on our second night. He's getting a lot of points, which is fine, and that's good. Now, I don't know if we can use, like, the um, inheritance and all that kind of stuff if we get the points. There was nothing in the rules that said you could or couldn't. I'm kind of thinking that, you know, we're just, we may be out of luck for that, but I don't know. We'll try it out. If anybody knows, I'm sure they'll let me know, but I'm just looking at the gifts. Like if we go to the mailbox and we check gifts and somebody sends us anything, it turns out to be cash. Well, that would just be something that we could, um, we could look at that somebody from the community, it's a community thing that they are trying to make money so we can renovate the asylum, but it's just not making a whole lot. All right. Yeah, there's some there's some issues going on. We have I don't think we've actually talked to anybody since we've been here. I mean, we know them, but we really haven't talked to them. Yeah, he needs to go. All right, you need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Let's get you upstairs. Yeah, you got about 30 minutes, and you're about to get really, really upset with me. All right, buddy. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, is somebody up there? Who's in the bathroom? Well, let me at least get... Oh, man. See, this is what's going to happen. Go ahead and go here anyway. At least wait on this guy. See, I should have done it. I sh I was not even thinking. I was thinking like every other place. And look at this. It's already filthy again. <laughs> this is not going to be good. Okay. He can't really do anything, but he could come over here and sell this painting. So while you're here, go ahead and sell that. I know. You've got how many minutes? 13 minutes or 11 minutes to you pee yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my fault. I just... I just made you have your first accident. That's okay, because he's not going to be out in time. There's just no way. All right, here he goes. I'd like to use it. I'd like you to go, but you can't. I think it's done. <laughs> Any second. Nope, he's got Okay, he's got almost an hour, so that's fine. Okay, did you have to take a bath? All right, get over here. Let's go. Let's go use it. Come on. <laughs> Get over here and use it. Oh, he's running. He was not even gonna waste any time. Oh man, that was that was dangerously close. All right, you might as well go ahead and clean that when you get done. And since you never know when or not when we're gonna get this thing again, take a shower and let's go ahead and clean it too. And then you need to go downstairs and eat. So we'll get you taken care of. And I don't want to keep you up too late because then you'll lose your bed. And I don't want you to. Um, no, I don't want to serve. I want to actually have dinner. And let's go with mac and cheese. Man, that's going to be, this is going to get old after a while. But then again, of course, if he starts working on the handing the skill, he can make this self-cleaning. There's no rule about that, of course. So you can do that all you want. But for right now, we're going to be doing a lot of cleaning because we're just trying to get money. And handing the skill, athletic skill, all that stuff, that's not going to help us one bit. Even though he is a handy sim, I think I made him handy. Yeah. So that was my fault. Wasn't even thinking. And he's tired, too. I probably ought to let him just skip out on cleaning the shower, but I'm not going to. All right, let's go on downstairs and eat. Yeah, you could have made, you could have gotten the leftovers. Oh, you're going to clean it? All right, look. So you did, you got it clean. That's good. The nice thing is there's only one of them to have to clean, so it's not too bad. Um, I need to go ahead and tell you to go to bed once you finish up. 
I don't know if you'll I don't know if it'll still be available once we get finished, but we're gonna try it. You gotta cook and everything, so just don't start the fire. Okay, we just learned we just got enough lifetime happiness points. That means we got at least five thousand. That's pretty cool. No, I think it's less because of university now, so let's see. Um no, it's five thousand. Alright. Wow, we've done quite a bit. I didn't realize he had gotten that many. Yeah, leisure day is approaching. Don't remind me. We're trying to get out of here as quick as we can. Improve your sculpting skill? We do want to do that. I have no idea how much his cooking is up to. Oh, he doesn't even have the cooking skill? Why am I making him cook? Oh, I'm insane. <laughs> He's insane and I'm insane. I don't know why I'm doing this. He should have actually not been doing this. He should have gone for the autumn salad. I thought he had already gotten like two cooking skill level points. I didn't know. All right, well, maybe, just maybe, he'll do okay on this. He won't burn it. He'll probably burn it. If he does, well, you know, that's all he's going to have. Because I think they took, I, I think they just took his bed. How much you want to bet? Nope, they didn't take it. I don't know where they are. Are you going to this bed? Yes, you are. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, buddy, you're going to be in bad shape tomorrow. Yeah, and you already burn it. All right, well, you know what? You're going to have to do this again because you can't eat that. Let's go ahead and clean it up. I know, clean it up, and you might as well go ahead and have some more. Um, what in the world is that? Oh, that was me. It's like, why is the camera moving away from me? Well, he's not, like, dying to go. I'm going to go ahead and take this out of here because we can't do anything for, it wi for a while. Um, the inventing skill is not really going to help us right now. Oh, you're going to wash all the dishes? Oh, man, I didn't mean for you to do that. I just meant for you to clean up your mess. That's okay. We're going to have to do it tomorrow anyway. Somehow I get the feeling that this is going to be our bed tonight right here because there's not a whole lot of activity, and I'm thinking that, let's see, these two beds, taken. <laughs> there's only three other ones. Taken, taken. Oh, you guys, have, you got to be kidding me. My poor guy is going to be exhausted. <laughs> All right. So you got to remember, oh, yeah, it's already 1.30 in the morning. Of course we're in trouble. Is somebody already in this place? No, they're not there. All right, if you don't do well on this one, then that's just too bad. Let me go ahead. Oh, wait, I was supposed to pause. Let me go ahead and pause real quick because this is after midnight, and it's the only time you can do it. Let's see what they've got in their inventory, and let's see. This is the only bookcase. I mean, the, most of the only thing they can get is their bookcase stuff. All right, he doesn't have anything. What about Sylvester doesn't have anything. Clarissa? Yeah, Clarissa's got a bunch of books in here, so let's go ahead and put these books away. And I'm going to try not to go to the same bookcase all the time, because otherwise, <laughs> one bookcase gets really loaded. But I'll go to these today. Alright. Man, they had a bunch. Okay, what about this guy? He's got one. Alright. We don't have anything. She doesn't have anything, and oh yeah, she's got a bunch. So yeah, they'll be just moving books from one bookcase to the other, and that's quite all right. They can do whatever they want. Um, all right, let's go back on our guy. I can't really. Ca I'm not going to click on their needs and see what they need because you know, they're the only ones that are in green. I'm the only one that's in yellow. So my poor guy is starving. He's hungry. He's exhausted. <laughs> you're excited too, aren't you? Um, can't get him a sleeping bag. Can't do any of that kind of stuff. So you're just kind of out of luck. Uh, she's going to try to go get a bed, and she's going to realize there isn't mm. one, and she's going to come take the couch. I know it. Oh, no, he's going to take it. Mm -hmm. now, I can't stop it, so if he's up, he's just up. I can't really do anything about it. How much you want to bet? He's going to take oh. our... Oh, he's going to take our couch. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. He's going to play with the fire. All right, well, that's fine. Go ahead and play with the fire. Okay, well, at least we're... Buddy, all right, then you know what? I'm not going to make you do this. Just have cereal. <laughs> you, you did the best you could. Go get some cereal. I can't mess with you. Do that, and then I'm going to let you go take a nap over here because you have no beds. Let me go ahead and just double check. Oh, wait, this bed is free. This bed one, we can go over here. Maybe that one will be free when you get done. I doubt it, but we'll try it. <laughs> Where's this guy? What's he going to do? Oh, he's going to read. All right, well, you could talk to these people and get to know them, but, you know, you just haven't really been doing... You haven't been very social at all. That's fine, though. 
That's the one nice thing about having the less, <laughs> the least amount of beds is oh, that there's yeah, always going to be something going on. Okay, there you go. You got your social interaction going, but it really didn't do anything for you. It, you would think it would, since you guys are supposedly having a conversation, but that's all right. Now, if somebody dies um, before the end of the challenge, you do have to go in. You have to take out one chair and you have to take out one bed for every person that dies. So, hopefully, they won't, and we'll be able to keep everything. And hopefully we'll get onto some kind of a schedule. The nice thing about not having an actual job is that he doesn't have to worry too much about um, about what time he sleeps. If he wants to sleep in until 3 o'clock in the afternoon, you know, you can go ahead and do it. It doesn't really matter. Oh, good. He got his bed. All right. So let him go ahead and go to sleep. And let me go upstairs and see what's going on up here. I can't really click on him, but I can look at him. All right. So you're getting up. <laughs> Sylvester's just gonna sit there and stare at the wall. It's fine. Okay, I wanted to click on him and I can't. Okay, over here. How bad is this? It see this thing's all cracked. It's got that cracked marble look and it looks dirty all the time, but it's really not. Okay, is there anybody else over here? Oh yeah, that girl. Clarissa's here. And then downstairs. Okay. Well, I didn't see everybody. Somebody must be over here. They're not out here in this section, are they? <laughs> oh, all right. I'm I'm just gonna look and see if they're. I don't think they'd be out here because they don't like the outdoors. So something tells me they wouldn't come out here for anything. Um, they might have gone down into the basement. So let's just go down and double check and see who's down there, if anybody. Nope, nobody's there. All right, I'm going back up here. <laughs> now I do like the little the fences and the gates, and I didn't actually do that. Into I mean I did it for this one down here, but in this actual venue, that's the way it already comes. So let me go ahead and speed him up since we really can't do anything until he gets up. I'm going to go ahead and speed him up, and I'll be back in a minute when he's up and ready to get going for the day. Well, we're not up yet, but I'm just keeping an eye over here on the kitchen because they've all started getting up, and I can't really click on them, but I figured, you know what? You never know what's going to happen, so I'm just going to keep an eye on what's going on over here and see if anybody... Oh, she's going to take his food. Okay, <laughs> so I figured I'll just keep an eye on what's going on down here. When he gets up, I'm going to let him go ahead and... He probably ought to take care of his needs real quick. So, but yeah, he's hungry and whatnot. Oh, wait, she's going to cook. <laughs> it just scares me whenever they do this, especially for the fact that they don't know how to cook. Well, she actually just learned. Oh, this, I used to do that right through her. Yeah, this stove is nasty. You got to be careful because, like I said, they're absent-minded. They could get this started, and then they could just turn around and walk away. <laughs> you don't want them doing that. But yeah, so far, they look like they've been doing pretty good. But this thing can always just catch fire just for the fun of it. So and it seems to do it. And once it does, we're kind of out of luck because we don't have any money to replace it. Um, I know insurance will help us a little bit, but not much. And chances are the um, uh, re the repo man is going to come and take something of ours that we really need, which I hope not. But he'll come and take something worth $1,000, which will probably be the stuff that we're using to make money. That will really stink if he does. I don't know how we'll. I don't know how we'll actually recover from that. To be honest with you, we may then have to go get a job. Okay, is he up yet? Not quite. Since she didn't burn it, I'm gonna go ahead and speed up. Let me go up here with him, and I want to make sure. Oh yeah, somebody's already in here. He's gonna go ahead and use the bathroom real quick and take his shower before anybody else is in there. Come on, Skyler, get on up. Okay, good. He's up. And then once you get done, you're going to need to eat something. <laughs> now, we could eat the food that's already made, but like I said, I'd really rather him learn how to cook as much as he can. So I'm going to let him go ahead and have... Um, he can't make mac and cheese to save his life, but he can make goopy carbonara, maybe. So we'll let him try it. Oh, yeah. Somebody's in there. You just walked right past them. They're going to shoo you out of here. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nope. You're going to get shooed out? Okay, fine. She'll probably leave. Go ahead and use this thing. And then we got to clean it again. <laughs> She's crazy. Oh, you're going to use it. Poor guy's... He... Yeah, he wants to use it. I know, I know. She just went right past you. you got to be more aggressive than that, buddy. Come on. All right, you know what? You ought to go downstairs and eat then. Let's get you, let's get you fed, and then we'll come back and take care of those needs in just a minute. Go ahead and have um go ahead and have grilled cheese 
<laughs> we'll see if we can get that done at least. Um, we can't do it, so we got to click out of it. Unless they come here, can't really mess with it. There's a book on the floor. Well, they're not really making any money for us with anything, so I really chose poorly, to be honest with you. Now, I think you could actually go and get them jobs, if I'm not mistaken. I was trying to go out and look, but I wasn't quite sure. Hang on just a moment. Let me go ahead and just double check on their website for just a second and see if there's anything about that. Nope, they can't get jobs. They can't leave the asylum. So here I was thinking, oh, maybe they can all go out and get a job. Nah, we're doing exactly what we're supposed to do. Um, that really stinks, to be honest with you. I kind of hate the fact that we can't go and get it. They can't go get jobs because then we'd make plenty of money. So we may have to rely on the kindness of um of the gifts that people are going to send if they do. But by the time you guys get around to sending them, it's going to be too late. So, because it takes these LPs a couple of days to actually get finished, uploaded, and whatnot. Alright, looks like there's some romantic intentions up there. Um, gain a skill level in sculpting, then report to the theater for a cash reward. Well, we can't, because we can't leave the house. So, unfortunately, it would be great, because we could have gotten a skill boost, but can't do it. I would have loved that, but that, it's just part of the way this whole challenge is. That's why they call it a challenge. So, and if you guys have been watching my Midnight Sun, you'll know that I am really kind of like strict on my on my challenge rules. <laughs> Who are you talking? Oh yeah, he's insane. He'll talk to himself, so that's fine. But yeah, I am pretty strict on what I'll allow them to do and what I won't. So, if it's not a part of it, they can't do it. All right, there's nobody in here for now. Don't know if that's gonna last for very long. But you go ahead and come over here and use it. Of course not. <laughs> How <laughs> did I know? Alright, then you can go ahead and take your shower. I don't think you can because this guy's going to still be in here. Oh, he's going to clean? Thank you. It means we don't have to do it. Okay, we do need to get around and actually do some work today. Um, hopefully you will be able to. Because, you know, it's already Tuesday. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and just resign myself to the fact that we're going to lose some stuff. I don't know how much we're going to lose, but they're going to come and take it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Buddy, why don't you get out of the way? Because we definitely want to use this thing. At least sometime today. Uh, Alright, come over here. Oh, no. You could be friendly, but I want to use this thing. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. This is going to stink. He won't. Alright, can you at least. Let's do this. If we try to take a shower, maybe we'll shoo him out. Which is the you shouldn't do it. You should take you should go to the bathroom first. But all right, that'll work. Okay, go ahead and use this first. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about cleaning because it looks like they'll come over and clean it. So they seem to be happy to do it. So I'm gonna let them do it and let's see what you want to do. Reach level four of cooking. We can do that. Now we can go to the bookstore. So if we want to buy stuff, we can go there. Um, I do want to do this. I'm getting really concerned about what we're going to lose. I don't want to lose that thing. That's the problem. That's our money maker, and it cost us $1,000 just to get that, and I don't think we'd have enough to uh, to make it up. Plus, we're going to get another set of bills, which means that they'll come take something else we have. Maybe if we put the um, inventing bench... Oh, well, we can't move it. We've already started the game. I was going to say, maybe if the inventing bench was right there when he walks in, he'd take that first. But, nah. Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> All right, you go ahead and get this done. Let's see. We're only, what, 171? There's no way. Ah, there's no way. Not with one sim and not with um, as little time as we got. Okay. There's probably something else I could be doing which would be really good, but so far I don't. I can't really think of anything. Let me speed him up and get him going with this. Since I can't really check on the others, I'm just going to let them do what they're going to do. We're the ones that the pressure's on, trying to actually... Okay, wait a minute. Did you get stopped? Okay. Alright, zombies are spawning, which is fine. Looks like it's just going to be a chair. I don't think it's going to be worth a whole lot. But it's something we could use, but of course we can't. That would go against our limit, our chair limit. Okay, go ahead and let's see. Sell it for 103. Alright, that's good. Can you do 10 of them tomorrow? 
I don't think you can. Go ahead and sculpt something else this time. Do it out of wood again. All right, so we got $250 right now. Well, we got something. Uh, what do you want to do here? Earn a thousand sculpting? I'd like to, because we need it. We need to make as much as we can make. All right, his needs are good. He's kind of bad on social, but that's all right. There's enough people that if he really gets desperate, he can talk to somebody. I'm keeping him sped up because we can't really watch anybody. Yeah, I know that's my time, but I'm going to be going over my time a little bit today. I'm sorry. So <laughs> I just want to make sure. I'm scared to death we're not going to make the money, and you know we're not. But let's see what this is. Make a metal sculpture? All right, well, that's good. So we've got our sculpting up to level five. Well, this is pretty good. Um, Rick Durwood is secretly a party animal? Well, that's fine. Oh, what did you guys break? I don't know, but that's all right. Now, we don't have any scrap in order to make anything out of metal, so that really didn't help us that much to get up to level five. I mean, yeah, it's going to help us eventually, but you know, we can't really do anything with that. Okay, he's getting kind of kind of bad on all of his needs. wonder what would happen if we get abducted. Of course, you can't get pregnant because you can't have more than eight sims. All right. Yeah, they keep showing up. Okay, how much is that worth? 130. Go ahead and sell that thing. Um, you are kind of hungry. Go ahead and have the leftovers. I'll let you eat that. And then I need you to go up here and take care of your needs. Oh, man. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Um, let's see if you'll, if you'll get out of your way. You can do it. You need to use it, and you need to unclog it, and then I'll see if I can get you to bed. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. It's already 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, wait, I forgot to pause. So, And I don't think it's like anything strict about you've got to do it at that certain time. But just the fact that, you know, you do have to clear out their inventory. So I'm going to use some of these front bookcases because I'm sure they've been using these a lot. So let's just use these two right here. All right, let's start up here with the top. What did you get out of the thing for your inventory? Oh, you got two books out. Two of the same. Okay, Sylvester, you got three books out. Yeah, you guys are just killing me on these. Okay, she didn't take anything. You got one. Okay. Um, you took one. We didn't take anything. Oh, man, this girl. She's driving me nuts. She's taking all the books. Okay, that's fine. You can take as many books as you want, but we'll just stick them back in. Yeah, that's why next time if I play this game, I'll probably take out all of the bookcases. And then that way I don't have to deal with that. All right, buddy, I need you to hurry up three o'clock in the morning they're gonna take your bed before you know it. oh don't worry about this okay. let me go ahead and speed him up so we can see if we get in there oh good we're fine see they're actually getting they're getting the nerd credibility and all that so that's fine we're not getting any of it because we're not talking to anybody but we're just trying to get out of this place we don't really want to make friends we just want to go we want to get out of this place and uh go somewhere else but we do need to actually fix that tomorrow so let me go ahead and speed him up real quick oh my gosh all right we got a fire all right we got a fire stop 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 go ahead call the firefighters and then let's get downstairs you idiot extinguish the flames you idiot <laughs> i figured we'd have our fire pretty quick okay and there's get down here quick come on yeah no, this is going to take points away because we had to call the firefighters if they get here, but we're going to come down and try to do it. Um, firefighters on the way. But the thing is, this fire will spread since we don't have any, um, what should we call it, any fire alarms. So. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, Skylar, you can do it. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. Well, so much for our, so much for our money. How much is that going to cost us? Oh, man. It's not stopping anytime soon. Are we going to lose the bookcase, too? <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's going to walk right into it. <laughs> All right, fireman, can you do something to help us? I thought we were going to lose the computer. I really did. I wasn't going to say it, but I was like, here we go. We're going to lose our computer. All right, so we got 203 to take care of the fire. Um, how much does it cost to replace it? 400 
Well, here's what we're going to do, and I know this might sound like cheating, um, but we're not going to replace it right away. Um, we're going to actually hold on to it because that actually gives us a little bit, a little bit of money. So maybe we can pay the, <laughs> pay the bills before the repo man comes. But I don't know if that's cheating or not. But I know we're supposed to actually replace it pretty quickly. I think um, maybe I'm just imagining something, but I thought there was something like you had a 24-hour rule or a 48-hour rule or something like that. Then again, I don't know. Maybe that's just something I'm making up. I have no clue. But we do need to replace it as quick as we can. All right. Are you just taking a nap? No, buddy. If you're here, you go ahead and take. Go ahead and go to sleep. Go ahead and do it. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, and we got to figure out. Now we got to pay not only the thousand dollars in the bills, but we also have to pay for a new stove. So that stinks. I think we have to do the stove first because you've got to have a working stove pretty much at all times. So. I think that's what we have to do. I won't replace it yet. I'm going to go look at the rules and make sure to see if anybody said anything. And if not, you know, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out from there. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.